Klepper, you said you were gonna provide a blood specimen, okay? That was December 11th, 2017. Time? 11 p.m. Clock's on the wall. Just hours earlier, Travis Klepper was in a crash in Magnolia. He hit a black truck so hard, it pushed it 80 feet sideways, causing it to flip over. I, I, I just was... Meanwhile, Rhonda Melton was at home, waiting for her husband, Wayland, to return. He was very involved in, uh, with our congregation, and in fact, that's where he was that night. Just before 9, the phone rang. And, it, and I thought, there he is. He's calling me to tell me that, you know, he's running late. But it wasn't him. It was their daughter saying the black truck that Klepper hit was Wayland's. Crushed so badly, his cab was reduced to almost half its size. Rhonda's partner of 47 years was gone in an instant. I just fell on the floor in the garage. I just was laying there in a heap. And literally, I felt like I couldn't breathe. Uh, I felt like I had just gone down to the valley of the shadow of death. Troopers thought Klepper was drunk. He was also injured and he could not do a field sobriety test. He couldn't walk, he was, you know, they had to pull him out of the car, those kind of things. Um, the blood can be of utmost importance in being able to prove that someone's intoxicated and prove our case. The Department of Public Safety's crime lab does thousands of blood tests a year involving suspected DWI cases, like Klepper's. The science involved in those tests is crucial to putting drunk drivers behind bars. This is what the officers have that they'll take to the hospital to get the blood draws. Once they have the sample, this machine is used to help determine just how much alcohol is in someone's system. Usually with an alcohol concentration, we could probably determine if those, how many drinks that they had. And for crime scenes as complicated as drunk driving crashes, forensic scientists can test for DNA inside the car, like the steering wheel or the airbags, to determine who was driving. In Klepper's case, two and a half hours after the crash, his blood was still showing an alcohol level that was double the legal limit. You have the right to remain silent. The Montgomery County District Attorney's Office says the blood sample proved instrumental in this case. Klepper was convicted. His life and the life of Rhonda Melton's are forever changed. This was, has been devastating in my life. Uh, everything in my life's changed. This is my old Bible, it's kind of tore up. Waylon died a day before Rhonda's birthday. She's reminded every day of something he wrote in her Bible, do not give up. Klepper is serving a 15-year sentence, all over a decision to drink and drive. Marla Carter, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.